everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider 3 playthrough. Today we are playing through the final level of the Tomb Raider 3 game, Meteorite Cavern. I'm so excited to play this. I can't believe we're actually at the end of the game. I feel like playing that absolutely flew by. Well, this playthrough was much quicker than my Tomb Raider 2 playthrough, so it feels like that just went by so fast. I'm really excited to get into this boss battle, so let's just get straight into it. Oh god, we're straight into it. Okay. Ew, it's so gross. <laughs> I have no idea why Dr. Willard would want to turn into that. It's so gross. Okay. So this is why we've been hoarding the Desert Eagle clips. This is our moment. We're gonna take him down now. And oh, oh, oh god. Okay. So for anyone who doesn't know, I should probably show that if you go beyond these lines without shooting him, he hits you with like instant death energy and you just can't escape it. So you cannot cross those lines without shooting him and like taking him down basically. Okay, what? Did you just jump in the air? That's so scary. Okay. Oh wait. I want to be I want to be close to it because I'm not so good at sprinting. Oh. <gasps> that did not go to plan. Okay, so let's get over here. Oh, no, get away from me. Is that? Okay, there we go. Run, run, Lara. So bad at sprinting. Oh no, 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 we're gonna get killed. We're gonna get killed. No. Was not quick enough. At all. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. That. I didn't go quick enough, so let's try it again. So about ten takes them down. Okay, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Damn it! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's go. Okay, if I do that, and then oh, run! Why aren't you sprinting? Oh, okay. So we got one. Going to save it. <laughs> uh, right, oh, get away from me. Oh my God. Get away from me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ah. I am so bad at killing him. Okay, so I need to get him five more times. Six, seven, eight. Oops. Okay, can I try and get this one? No! no. This is so bad. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. Uh, uh. Okay. Run, 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 run. <gasps> Whew. Okay. 
We're getting there slowly. Painfully slow. Oh no! Ah. Oh. How is Lara not mutating though from her exposure to this? Plot holes all over the place. Okay. One, oh, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I said a bad word there. I'll edit it out. This is just really, it's really stressing me out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Was that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. No, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. No, we didn't make it. Oh god, it came the other way. That was so sneaky. I am not able for this. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, go, Lara, go. I want to be beside one that I can run down quickly. One, two, three, four. Okay, go. Uh-oh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run. Yes. Okay, we've only got one left now. One left and then he's no longer protected by the power of the meteorites and we can actually kill him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now we only need to do two. One, two, go. Go, Lara, go, go, go. Okay. Go, Lara. Go, go, go. Ooh, and there's the meteorite uh, returning down now. So the meteorite's gone back into the hole where it belongs. And now we'll just normal shoot him. I'm not gonna lie, that took me a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I actually find that a really difficult fight. But anyway, there we go. It's kind of anticlimactic when you finally kill Dr. Willard. Like, nothing really happens. It's kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. But anyway, yay for us. So let's get a look at these artifacts because I realized we never actually looked at them in depth or anything. So... The first one we got is the Infada Stone. So that's it there. Cool. Then the next one we got was Element 115. The one that I think looks like a salamander. Although, oh, sorry. I was like, isn't that the Aura Dagger? So there is actually a mistake in the Tomb Raider 3 game. They switched the names around. So this should be the Aura Dagger. And this one should be element 115. So they just mislabeled them. So yes, this is element 115. And then this one's the aura dagger that I think looks like a salamander. And then this was the eye of Isis that we took from Miss Sophia Lee. So that's all of them. They're back in our possession now. Again, I don't know how we're not like exposed to, to this substance and really badly affected but anyway let's let's get out of here so yeah i think that was literally the goal was just to stop dr willard and his evil 
evolution plan and then we have taken oh that was a tight squeeze wasn't it we have taken the artifacts with us now so they can't be used again although i mean couldn't someone just come along and take the meteorite substance and like throw that at people to make them mutate or something i don't know anyway <laughs> we, we we've done what, what we're supposed to do so that's the main thing and now it's now it's time to go home it's so cool I feel like, and I'm not a fan of the shaking, as you know, but I feel like they should have had some something like the cavern starting to explode or crumble, you know, just to give it a little something because, I don't know, this is kind of boring, this exit. Or maybe that's just me, I don't know. Okay, so we're out of the cavern. And now all of Willard's men have turned against us now for some reason. I mean, I assume it's because we just killed Willard, but like, how would they know? Or maybe they're just all crazy now as well. Who knows? But anyway, they've all turned against us. And they drop pickups and stuff, which, I mean, that's nice, but it's the end of the level. Uh, he was a, a flamethrower. Ooh. What's this? Oh, there was something there. I mean, I'm just going to get all these pickups because why not? Even though we don't really need them anymore. Um, oh, you don't have anything rude. Oh! That was super rude. Nothing in there. Okay. I think we go down here. I'm not sure what that button did though. Anyone else? Oh look, there's our helicopter! So cool! That is an awesome image with the moon behind it and everything. Okay, so let's get the hell out of here and watch this cutscene. And just a really brief explanation of that cutscene. Lara approaches the Orx Tech helicopter cautiously and opens the door. 
The pilot seems surprised to see her. Lara returns his smile but quickly decides a few bullets will make him give up his seat faster. And I just love that so much. The way she just smiles at him and then shoots him is just so evil. I like it. With Lara at the controls, the helicopter lifts off, shooting a ground-based gun turret before it can turn and fire. A missile locks onto the helicopter. Lara pulls up just in time and the missile just misses her. Missile just misses her. Lara then heads through a narrow canyon with another helicopter in pursuit. I don't know why, but I guess like all of Orx Tech are just super annoyed that she killed Willard. But are they not super happy that she killed Willard, seeing as he was planning to like turn them all into mutants or whatever? I don't know, it's very confusing. The bad guys in the helicopter fire their machine gun, punching a series of holes in the tail of Lara's helicopter. She still manages to evade them and makes a stealthy U-turn, firing on the aircraft from above. The pursuing aircraft explodes in a spectacular fireball and Lara flies off into the darkness. So yet again, they were no match for Lara Croft. But yeah, that's the end of the game. It was really, really cool. It was a cool cutscene to end on, but yeah, I thought like just straight after you killed Willard, they could have had a little something, you know? But anyway, it's, it's, it's fine. Uh, I don't know when they're gonna show me my stats, maybe at the end of this, um, we'll be able to see how I did. I'm pretty sure I got all the secrets, so we'll be able to do All Hallows, which I will play straight away next. I'm really excited about that. Thank you so, so much for watching my Tomb Raider 3 playthrough. I really cannot explain how much it has meant to me. My channel has also grown so much while playing Tomb Raider 3 and I'm just really, really grateful for all of the support and all of the friendship and interaction that everyone has given me. Okay, so here's the final stats. So it took a total of 18 hours. It took a lot longer than that. And we got 60 secrets out of 59. So that is all of the secrets that you can possibly get. The reason it says 60 out of 59 is because you can get that extra secret in Coastal Village. They meant for when you choose to go one way that you miss out on a secret. But if you do some backtracking, you can actually get all of them. So you can get four out of three, but that's amazing. That means we can play All Hallows, we killed 550 things, that's a lot. And 37.5 health packs, I thought that would have been much, much more. Thank you so, so much again for joining me on my Tomb Raider 3 playthrough, but it's not quite over yet, and I will see you in the next video for All Hallows, the bonus level.